to be tough. Then you should get to know me. I'll teach you other stuff. I'm Madeline, I'm Madeline. I may be very small. I'm Madeline, I'm Madeline, but inside I'm tall. She may be teeny tiny, thin and deep, but that has never stopped her from being pretty. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines lived twelve little girls in two straight lines. They left the house at half past nine Two straight lines in rain or shine. <laughs> the smallest one was Madeline. At Easter, Paris was in flower. From the banks of the Seine to the Eiffel Tower. Along each boulevard and alley bloom crocus and lily of the valley. The streets were fresh as morning dew, but not everything looked brand new. Bonbon, the old milk wagon mare, wore a straw hat sorely needing repair. A sight that Madeline could not bear. What is our Madeline up to now? said Miss Clavel with furrowed brow. Bonjour, Jacques. Bonjour, Bonbon. Bonjour, Madeleine. <laughs> Bonbon, your chapeau is a mess. If you lend it to us, we could make it into a beautiful Easter bonnet. Ah, oui, Madeleine. Maybe if her hat looked better, she'd get a little pep back into her. We will return it tomorrow, Bonbon. And it will look as fresh as spring. Très bien, Mademoiselle Madeleine. But remember, Bonbon will not deliver milk without her hat. Then it will be ready first thing, before you start your rounds. <laughs> so Madeleine borrowed the tired old bonnet and hurried home to begin work on it. The other girls wanted to help so much that each one added her own special touch.
Ribbons and flowers, lace and a bow soon made it a lovely new chapeau, although Madeline did not think it so. No, something is not right. No, no, no. No? no? It still needs something. It needs something blue. Ah, très bien. Ah. At last. It is just right for Bonbon. Oui, oh, perfect. On the next morning, by dawn's early light, Bonbon laid eyes on a glorious sight. <laughs> Her tired old hat was fresh and bright. Here is your bonnet, Bonbon. On Easter morning, you will be the most beautiful horse in all of Paris. <laughs> Oh, merci beaucoup, Madeleine. <laughs> the old girl looks young again. Miss Clavel, there is no charge for the milk today. Merci beaucoup, Jacques. Merci, Madeleine. Pas de quoi, Monsieur Jacques. Bonbon was happy that early spring day till a playful wind stole the hat away. The girls all reacted with shock and dismay. <laughs> and nothing would move Bonbon. Not even hay. While Bonbon's hat floated in the air, Miss Clavel knew there was no time to spare. Hurry, girls. We must go if we are to catch Bonbon's chapeau. Did you know that? Do not worry, Bonbon. We will find your hat. You have Madeline's word of honor. The hat continued on the breeze, above the blooming chestnut trees. Oh, yes, that hat was quite a tease. The hat! Catch it, monsieur! Did you know that? Voilà le chapeau. Oh, oh no! Vite, vite! Le chapeau, le chapeau! Le chapeau! I am sorry, little girls, but it has gone too far to catch. But, Miss Clavel, I gave my word of honor, and I never go back on my word of honor. Je regret beaucoup, Madeline, but the hat is gone. Try as they might, they did not find the hat, and Miss Clavel told them that was that. Still the hat went to, the hat went fro. The hat caused trouble down below. C'est votre faute. À moi? Oui, vous. Oh, it was the naughtiest chapeau. The hat made a stop along the way, where the latest spring fashions were on display. Inside the shop called Maison Bagatelle, business today was not going so well. But, madame, this hat is the latest spring fashion. It will make you the envy of all of Paris. But this hat is old-fashioned. Obviously, I must go elsewhere. But... Then the wind blew in the hat that fled. It landed right on madame's head, and monsieur's face turned bright, bright red. Oh, oh, I apologize, madame. Permit me. No, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, this is more like it, monsieur Bagatelle. Très chic. Oui, vraiment. Oh, this is something Paris has not seen before. Back at the old house that same day, Bonbon was causing much dismay. 
Oh, she has not budged since she lost her hat. Please, Bonbon, we have got milk to deliver. Bonbon simply would not go without her hat. She just said no. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Without Bonbon's hat, there is no milk. And without milk, Perry will completely fall apart. All over Paris, there was a roar. Without fresh milk delivered to the door. <laughs> Jacques, this is my fault. But do not worry. My friends and I will deliver the milk. Oui, oui. Cher Madeleine. So the girls scurried up and down the streets, delivering milk and dairy treats. <laughs> Monsieur Bagatelle, you are a genius. I will take five of these hats, one for each of my four daughters, and one for me. May we, of course, whatever you say, madame. Just send them to my house in time for Easter, s'il vous plaît. Uh, oui, madame. <laughs> While Madeline did her job so well, she saw Bonbon's hat at Maison Bagatelle. Bonbon's hat? Oh, I must get it. Madeline meant to keep her vow, but first she had to figure out how to get the hat without causing a row. Here you are, Cecile. Oh, take good care of it. Madeline entered, determined to claim the hat she had made in Bonbon's name. To désire, mademoiselle? Oui, monsieur. I want that hat, the one your assistant just took. Oh, je regret, mademoiselle. That hat has been sold. Allow me to show you some others. Madeline tried on style after style. Oops. Ah. <laughs> but none of them brought her as much as a smile. Je regret. None of these hats are right. I must have that chapeau. Then Bagatelle brought out his new sensation, the hat which had caused so much vexation. This is my pièce de résistance. Do you like it, mademoiselle? Mais oui. It is just what I am looking for, monsieur. Then you would like to order a copy? You say you made this hat. Perhaps you could show me how. Ah, oh, no, ce n'est pas possible. The public is never allowed in the workroom. Please, monsieur, s'il vous plaît. Eh bien, I guess we can make an exception just this once. <laughs> Into the workroom went Madeline to view the bonbon hat design. Cecile, all we need is some lace, a bit of ribbon, a flower, some leaves, and a birdie. Oh, yes, and la tour Eiffel. Et voilà! Le chapeau magnifique! <gasps> oh, no! Though the new hat had ribbons, lace, and a bow, it was a nightmare as new hats go. <gasps> so, monsieur, it seems that you did not design this hat after all. <laughs> well... You may as well know, this hat belongs to my friend, Bonbon. My friends and I made it for her. When Madeline told the whole true tale, it made poor Bagatelle turn pale. Oh, no! Oh, my! Oh, heavens! Where is this bonbon shop? How much did she pay you for your design? Perhaps bonbon and I can make a deal. <laughs> she doesn't have a shop. You see, <laughs> she is a horse. A horse? <laughs> Monsieur Bagatelle was shocked, of course, 
when he learned his hat belonged to a horse. <laughs> nay, nay! <laughs> Oh, a, a horse, you say? Oh, very funny. Sell me this hat. I must have this hat, oh, please. Bagatelle begged for his spring collection, but his plea was met with strong rejection. This hat must be returned to Bonbon, the milk wagon horse. Pardon, mademoiselle. Pardonnez-moi. I will return the chapeau de Bonbon. Oh, but I am ruined! Ruined! Oh. The poor designer began to cry, not seeing the gleam in Madeline's eye. However, monsieur, my friends and I would be happy to make you another hat like it. Soon, Bagatelle was feeling fine when he got the word from Madeline that she would make a new design. Miss Clavel, this is Madeline. Madeline, thank you for remembering to call. She summoned her friends to return right away to the street called Rue Saint-Honoré. Oh, Madeline and friends made hat after hat. But Monsieur Bagatelle would not stop with that. His spring fashion show was the hit of the season. All for a very special reason. And now, mesdames et messieurs, I humbly present my new hat collection, the Bon Bon. Whoever oh, you use. Twelve little girls in two straight lines came down the runway dressed to the nines, modeling Bagatelle's latest design. Mesdames et messieurs, Presenting the jewel of my collection, the Madeline. The applause continued strong and loud. Miss Clavel was very proud. Madeline's creativity made Bagatelle the toast of Paris. Bonbon was in a deep depression. Getting her hat back was her obsession. Oh, Bonbon, please! We have got to deliver the milk! <laughs> and then she spotted a prized possession. Help! Thief! That door stole my chapeau! Help! Call the gendarme! Merci, Madeline. Pas de quoi, monsieur. Huh? Luckily, Madeline saw the trouble and rushed to the scene on the double. Bon, bon. Pardon, madame. Here is your hat. We are sorry. You cannot have that hat, Bon, bon because I have a new one that is even better. We have been preparing it for quite some time. She didn't give Bon, bon the same hat, it was true. This one was better. It had something new. Well, Bonbon, what do you think? Do you want to give it back? <laughs> Magnifique! Now we will not have to stop for breakfast on our own. Madeline, you have saved the day. Well, I gave my word of honor. On Easter morning the following day, the girls went to their church to pray. Then strolled along the Champs Elysees, admiring the fashions of the day. The ladies showed off their latest passion, the Madeline. 
the height of fashion. Bonjour, Miss Clavel. Look, Madeline. It is not polite to point. Pardonnez-moi, Miss Clavel, but look. <laughs> When the girls returned home, there was milk at their door. Madeline, I think this is for you. Happy Easter to you, Bonbon. And that's all there is. There isn't any more. Oh, 